I'm going to show you all how to convert low resolution raster edges into nice high quality vector edges. Let's say that you've got yourself an icon like this and you wanted to apply it onto a much larger project such as a 4K project. We would drag and drop this onto that new project and straight away you're not going to notice much of a difference. At the moment it looks pretty normal. However, once you start to press Ctrl and T and then you upscale this image, you will notice the larger the image, the more quality you will lose on the edges and they'll start to become more pixelated. If you double left click to apply, you will also notice some areas are more blurry and then others are very crooked looking like this one, for example. So a quick easy fix for this is to get yourself the icon and then you want to get yourself a selection. We can achieve this by going up to select, go down to subject. The next step is to also cut into the image just a little bit so that the edges don't become blurry. And to do this, we're going to go up to select, go down to modify and go down to contract. This is all down to you. So it depends on your image, but personally, Anywhere between one to three is a decent number. So I'm just going to set it to two and then go ahead and press okay. So now that we've got ourselves a selection, we can go up to the selection tool and then we want to right click on the selection and go to make work path. So if your image or icon is very complex and has a lot of detail, then you may need a lower tolerance, which will create more key points. However, if you want nice smooth curved points, then you would want to set it to something like seven and then go ahead and press OK. And as you can see, it's done a decent job on selecting the icon. It does have some imperfections here and there, but that's because we told it we want less key points to be included. So it's a lot more smoother. A quick simple fix for this is to get yourself the pen tool and we're just going to correct some of these points by holding control, left clicking on the point, and then you just want to once again hold control and drag this in. We're going to do it to this one as well. I'm going to drag this one a little bit higher up. If you need more key points, so let's say you wanted this one to touch, you would just left click on here, add yourself another point, and then readjust this one from here. Once you're happy with your work path, you can then go to the path selection, and then right click on the path and go to create vector mask. And what this will do is it will create a vector mask onto this layer. And now if we go to the first tool, we left click off of this and select the image. We can now press control and T. And once you start to upscale this, it will copy the exact same movement. So no matter how big this image is, it will always look nice and sharp. So as you can see, the edges are really sharp and high quality. Another pro tip for this is if your image or icon is very simple, so let's say it's black and white, you can also go to the half filled circle and then just go to fill solid color. And what this will do is it will just fill in that color. And if you hide this layer, you will notice this is now the same thing as creating a vector image. You can upscale this as large as you want. And then when you apply the changes, it will still be nice and sharp since this is now a shape or a vector shape. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see the next video, click on the screen and watch the next one.